Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video I'm going to show you how to make a quotes coloring page for a coloring book in Microsoft PowerPoint. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because my top selling KDP book for June was a coloring book, a quotes coloring book. So if you can learn how to make these quotes coloring books in different niches, cool part that I wanted to get to for the video. So I hope you stay tuned to, to the end in different professions, things like that, then uh, you can create these. They will take a lot more time than a no content book, like a, just a journal that you can create in five minutes. These will take you some time to create these. I just created, I actually created a book for a client and I probably spent six hours putting the book together, very custom book, but this is very valuable. I'm going to show you how you can make some really cool looking professional coloring pages in PowerPoint. So let's jump in. So I just opened up PowerPoint. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come up here uh, to the tab and you're going to, we're going to insert, you, you are going to need some backgrounds, whether you create them your own, you're a designer and you create them own, you're probably going to be using a different software. <laughs> My tutorial videos are showing people that are not uh, designers or that don't know how to use the Adobe products and, and things like that, that just come with a, a really steep learning curve. And so um, if you're familiar with Microsoft products, the ribbons and the toolbars are all pretty much the same. You get a lot of the same tools and in all of the different, um, softwares and me i'm a microsoft word powerpoint and excel user so i find it's easier to just kind of cross over now powerpoint uh, is a presentation a web presentation software it's been around forever and it stood the test of time it still is the best software in my opinion people will say that oh a powerpoint killer things like that but obviously powerpoint sets the standard sets the stage for presentations now, the fact that it will export as a PDF, it will export your pages or your book that you create as a PDF that, you know, as long as the images you're bringing in are 300 DPI and you're not going higher than the size, the original size that they were created in, then you are able to create print ready, um, high quality um, prints from PowerPoint. Got a little bit off uh, topic there. So, so we're going to hop up here, insert, we're going to go to pictures. I'm going to insert a picture. I'm already on the backgrounds page over here. So you can see I have a ton of backgrounds. These are really cool rectangle eight and a half by 11 backgrounds, ready to go, ready to build uh, coloring books off of. And if you're interested in picking up a package that consists of 225 of these, um, then just, uh, you can click the link uh, below and cl click the link below and check it out. And you can uh, pick up this uh, for a really good price. I've made several coloring books that are selling with these backgrounds. So they are good backgrounds. They do sell. <clears throat> I'm just going to pick the top one. We're going to bring it in here. Okay. So we've got our coloring page in here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step you want to go to is, or sorry, we want to go to design. So go to design and then go to slide size, custom slide size. And I'm making my coloring books at eight and a half by 11. I want them extra big. So it's easier for coloring by 11. And also, you know, some people might want to tear the page out of the book um, or cut it, the page out. And, you know, it's just nicer to have a full sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11, and then just push and make sure it's on portrait and push. Okay. And then just push maximize to do, do, and then it's done. So check it out. The, these, these were obviously the images here are bigger than, than eight and a half. So I, that's how I know that, that these images will be fine with the JPEG at 300 J, uh, DPI, the PNG or the JPEG. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to, and I'm just going to, you can see the background already went to eight and a half, which is great. So I'm going to actually come down here and then I'm going to grab, um, the end up here and, and, and bring it down a little bit. That's bothering me. I thought I got rid of that. <laughs> All right. So we're coming up here. And what I like to do is take these and you hold the control button down and then you can come up here and I have kind of a sweet spot. It's about, it's about five at the top. And then you do it again, take it down to the bottom and five at the bottom. And then you take it again and you go 4.75 or sorry, 3.75. And then you do it one more time and we're setting our, our guides at 3.75. So we're setting our guides. 
So, oops, that one didn't want to stay. Do, 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 three, seven, five. Okay. So we have our guides here. So you have your guide, right? Your little box here. And you'll take your uh, shape here. And we want to, it'll, it'll automatically stop. That's what's great about it. It'll kind of click in place and then go up and click in place. And then we're going to shape it and put it where it needs to go. So drag that out and then drag the bottom down. Okay. So now we have our border. So when we upload to KDP, we don't need a bleed and it's going to be, and this is going to be good because it's not going to be going off the page or anything. It's going to be ready to go for our book. So, but no, notice here that this coloring page is great. A lot of detail. It's going to be fun um, to color. It's a great background, but notice how you're coloring off. There's nowhere to like catch. And as I've been creating coloring books, I've been getting better and better at it. And what you, what you really want to do and what the customers are going to like is click on this. And then we want to go to format tool up here. And then we want to go uh, to the picture border and we want to make it black. And then you want to go down one more time here and go to the weight. I'm going to make the weight about a, you can make it a three. I'm going to do a two and a fourth. You can do either one, but it, it, it adds this border. See, it adds a, a border to the outside that there's something to color up against. And you can make it thicker if you want. So if we click over here and go to border, go to I, the, the weight and go down to three, you could make it real thick if you wanted to. Let's just make it thick this time. And so now you've got your border. Okay. So there's something to color up against and, uh, it just makes it easier for the person coloring the coloring book, which is really good. Okay. So next, uh, what we want to do is we want to now put some text on here. So let's go and get a quote. So I'm up here. I'm going to grab this quote. So it's just, um, your limitation. It's only your imagination, cool motivation quotes. Say you're making a motivational quotes book. Come back over here. And what you're going to do now is come over here and you're going to insert word art. And I just grabbed the first one there and it's going to put the uh, text on the page there. Okay. The next you want to do is just, this is kind of a little trick. You want to right click and then paste just the text. Boom. And then now what we want to do. Okay. So you have your text on there. Obviously that doesn't look good, but we're going to fix it is we're going to grab right here. We'll just kind of see how it looks and push return. And then, you know what? I'm going to come back off that. I'm going to actually go with, we're going to get rid of the dash, put a space there. We're going to do your limitation on one line. It's only your imagination. Okay. So we've got all of our text there. I'm going to kind of center it a little bit. And then now we can grab each one, let's say we want to grab your limitation. We want to go over to home. We want to go and put some cool texts in here. Okay. I'm just going to grab a different one right here. Like that one will be good. And then we can also make the size bigger. So it just fits on the page. I like that. Okay. And don't worry, it's all black, but we're going to fix that in a second as well. So I want to do the exact same thing to maybe, maybe this one here imagination. So I'm going to go back up here. We're going to use the same font over here and I'll probably make that one big as well. Just so it fits on the page, right there. We'll do that. And then we have this text in here. We're going to go ahead and beef it up a little bit. We're going to make the size a little bit bigger, but then we need a better font that's for coloring, right? And I have one here. Pots and one is a really, really good one for like bigger kind of circular font. So we have our text on there. Pretty cool, right? And we can shape this and you can see where this line kind of comes up in the middle, shows you you're centered on the page. Now here's the, here's the cool tricks. We're going to click this. Okay. Just click the whole box. And then you want to make sure you're in the formatting tool here, click format. And then what you want to do is go to text fill. We want to text fill this as white. Okay. Text fill white text outline. You want to make sure it's black. 
pretty cool. Check it out. Look what's happening. And then let's go down, down to weight. Let's make this, um, you can have it pop if you really want it to pop, you know, it just depends on how you like the look of this. I've been going, let's see, about two and a fourth. Okay. That's enough to see it really well. So here's something that I've learned recently. So I've, I've sold books like this. No problem. People will buy these books when it just looks like this. Okay. But working with a client and just getting a little bit better at design, I've learned that uh, recently that this can be a little bit busy. Some, some people, this might turn them off a little bit, you know, because the background in the back is pretty complex. You know, that's going to take a lot of, lot of time and focus to color that. It's an adult, a kind of advanced coloring book page, which is going to be awesome when you're done with it. It's going to look amazing. But adding in the text in there and stuff, it, it gets a little bit busy looking at everything, right? So if you want to improve the coloring page, you know what? I think I'm going to take this one already and you just kind of go like that. See, I think that looks better and recenter it. I think it looks better like that with your end limitation on each uh, one line of its own. Cause I wanted, I want, um, for my example, there'd be more space for you. So this is the, co the cool part that I wanted to get to for the video. So I hope you stay tuned to, to the end. So uh, what you're going to do now is we're going to make this look even more professional. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to insert because we want to put a background behind all of this and kind of cut out the text from the background. So it's not so busy and it'll actually in the end looks better too. So it's a win-win for the person coloring the book and the, the way that the book is presented. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, insert. We're going to go to shapes. There's all kinds of different shapes you can do in here, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one that's that's a, a curve. So I grab this curve and, it, and then we're going to start kind of, <clears throat> you're going to click and you can see that there's a little line right here. Okay. Every time you click, it's going to kind of hold in place and it's going to wrap around. But look at what it's doing is defines the lines instead of doing it a, like more of a manual drawing because I've tried it that way as well and it works, but it's harder to do and it doesn't, and it doesn't look as neat when you're done. So you can just simply go through here and click where you as close to you want to the text, get as close to the text as you want. Okay. I'm just moving around here. Do, do, do. And then there's a period right there. So don't forget that. And then I'm just going to keep going, right? Each time I stop kind of, I'm doing a click defining where I want the art to go, the line. I'm going to wrap around here. I'm going to wrap around this one as well. We're putting, we're adding a nice custom background to our text, which is pretty awesome. And then you're going to find it right here is important. Don't want to go past it and then click because then it will ruin it. You'll have to kind of redo it. You want to go right to where it clicks and then left click. So then this is what it's going to look like. Once you connect it kind of nothing special, right? looks, looks kind of silly, but then what you're going to do from here is you're going to go, this is a, a text in a shape fill. So now we're on a shape. This is now a, sh a custom shape that we created. And so what we want to do now is go up to shape fill and we want to fill this with white. Okay. Notice you're just kind of reversing things. Now we want to do a shape outline as black. Okay. And you're like, where did our text go? No, where'd our text go? What are you doing? This doesn't look good. We're going to fix that in a sec. Last one, one, last step here is shape fill. We'll go down to weight. And I'm going to go with two and a fourth. We can make it even stand out more, but I'm going to go right, right there. We're still highlighted over the, over this, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to go with a, um, go up here to, while you're still on format, go to send backwards and then boom, look what happens. Text comes in and now you have this really cool coloring page that has a custom 
background in the back, it's less busy, still plenty of things to color around the entire page, still have some awesome text, and then this white, you can leave it white on the page when you're coloring it, or you can color that a solid color as well, and it's just going to pop. It's going to look really, really cool. So uh, that's kind of how you make a really nice, high-quality, custom uh, coloring page in PowerPoint. I'm going to come up with new video or more videos, kind of a, like a series of PowerPoint um, creation videos for KDP low content books, because I've been using PowerPoint a lot. My books are selling. So obviously PowerPoint works and I've got a book that's getting five star reviews um, that I created in PowerPoint. So there's no reason why you can't use PowerPoint. For me, it's easier to use PowerPoint because I'm used to using PowerPoint and I feel comfortable in it. And I really don't have the time or desire to, to, to learn Adobe InDesign or any of the other um, uh, advanced tools or Photoshop. Um, so this works for me. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did like the video and you found value in it, please uh, consider subscribing and hitting that like button on the video. And until next time, if you want to check out those coloring uh, pages, click the um, link in the description and you can pick them up for a really good price. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care.